Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are checking out one of my most metal projects to date. This is the Sunfish. Let's check it out. What's up everyone and welcome to another Fresh Look, the series where I take fresh looks at cool bases. This is the Sunfish. What started life as a regular solar AB 2.4 BOP is now a metal machine. We took the solar base and we gutted it. We ripped out the insides. And we replaced it with some Fishman electronics. That's right, we have Fishman Fluence pickups and the preamp in there. And this thing rocks. But the process wasn't easy. This preamp and pickup installation was probably the most difficult one I've done to date. Now usually the preamps that you buy from Seymour Duncan, Aguilar, EMG, etc. are mostly pre-wired and require very little soldering. They come with the pots and everything and you just pop it in there and you just have to solder your grounds and your pickup connections as well as any sort of battery connection. With the Fishman Fluence set, however, they do not hold your hand. There was about 32 separate solder points that you had to do to set this thing up. And you're basically given about four bundles of wire and they say have a good time. Honestly, I didn't find it challenging, but I did find it tedious as it was a lot of soldering, but the end result was very much worth it. And I did have to modify the body a little bit to accommodate the three-way switch for the three different pickup voicings. So this involved drilling a hole and then removing some of the material on the other side from inside the control cavity to uh, give it a shallow enough depth, shallow enough to depth. I did have to dremel away some of the material from inside the control cavity around where the switch goes in order to accommodate the switch. The body was just too thick otherwise. But I think the end result isn't bad. Now I do have a black three-way switch coming, so don't worry, it will all match eventually. I just really wanted to show you guys how this thing sounds, because it is good. Now if you haven't seen my review of this bass, go ahead and check it out, and that'll be linked in the description below. But let's go see how this thing sounds. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. This thing sounds awesome. So the controls are a bit more complex than the stock configuration now. You have a three-wave selector over here, which allows you to select between three different voicings. One is a classic, more vintage style voicing. One is a mid-scooped voicing, that's the middle selection. And then the third selection is a more modern voicing. And then you have a push-pull volume knob, which gives you a single coil mode as well. So there is a ton of different configurations here. And we're gonna go through as many as we can, because there is a lot, and they all sound great. So what you just heard was voicing one, which is the classic, more vintage style voicing on both pickups with the EQ centered. So there is a two band EQ, as well as the three pickup voicings and the single coil mode. And then you have the master blend as well. So the possibilities are practically endless. Okay, mathematically not so, but you know, they're good. Let's go ahead and start out with the neck pickup and see what that sounds like soloed. So here is just the neck pickup in voicing one with the EQ centered.
face. That sounds fat. Fat and mean. Man, I like these a lot. is good. Now let's go ahead and check out voicing number two, the center mode. So I guess they call voice two and three voice two and one just has a mid scoop, but I'm going to call them two and three just for the sake of specificity. So here is voice two, neck pickup, EQ centered. I'm just going to go ahead and slap that real quick. I just feel like it. <laughs> I can't see you with this thing on. <laughs> yeah, so voicing two is the more modern voice with the mid scoop. And then here's voice three without the mid scoop. up in single coil mode and baby's biting me metal so here is mid voicing one that's the vintage voicing with the pickup in single coil mode that's definitely single coil mode you can hear the hum Voicing two. Now here is voicing three in single coil mode with the neck pickup, EQ centered. Nice. 
not bad. You do get that single coil hum, but it's easily negated by putting it back into humbucker mode and not single coil mode. So you have the option to go full single coil if you want, and I appreciate the flexibility there without the need for 50 million knobs. So good job, Fishman. Now let's check out this preamp a little bit. So this two band preamp is included with the pickups and let's go ahead and cut everything and then start boosting. So here is the neck pickup voicing one with the preamp completely cut. Here's voicing two. Very nice. Though I already felt very connected with the instrument as stock, I feel like with these modifications, it takes it to a whole new level and you just wanna jam on this thing. And now let's just boost the treble up to center and keep the bass cut. Here's voicing one. Now here's voicing two. Voicing three. Let's boost the treble up to about 50%, so halfway between the center notch and fully boosted. Completely silent, at least in uh, not single coil mode, so very nice. Here's voicing one. <laughs> Here's 
Here's voicing two. <laughs> And here's voicing three. Very nice. The treble control isn't overwhelming or screechy. This preamp is extremely well tuned, especially paired with these pickups, which I mean it comes with, so it better be. So again, great job, Fishman. These things sound great. Now let's completely cut the treble and bring in the bass. So here's just the bass control centered, voicing one, neck pickup. Here's voicing two. And here's voicing three. <laughs> now let's go ahead and boost the bass to about 50%. Here's the bass boosted on the neck pickup, voicing one. Here's voicing two. This is a very powerful bass control. It's not overwhelming any of my equipment. There's no distortion, but it's shaking my house a little bit. <laughs> now here is voicing three. Finally, let's go ahead and bring the bass control back to center and boost the treble to about 50%. Check that out with the neck pickup. And then we'll go ahead and check out the bridge pickup. So here is the bass center, treble boosted, voicing one, neck pickup. Voicing two.
Very nice. I am digging all the voicings and many of the EQ configs here. I think the bass control boosted is a little bit boomy, but I love this treble control. It gives it some nice growl, and the three different voicings give you a ton of different tonal possibilities. And we've only touched upon the neck pickup too. So now, let's move over to the bridge. Here is the bridge pickup, EQ centered, voicing one. <laughs> Now here's voicing two on the bridge pickup with the EQ centered. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and check out single coil mode real quick. There's that noise. So here is a voicing one on the bridge pickup, EQ centered, single coil mode. Now here's voicing two. And now let's turn single coil mode back off. Now I think I went through the EQ pretty thoroughly with the neck pickup. It's pretty much the same deal with the bridge pickup. Treble boost, bass at 50% is where it's at. <laughs> I think I dig voicing one the best, but I think they all sound great. Now let's get to what you really want to hear, both pickups together. And then we're going to check it out with some effects and some drums behind it as well, so be sure to stay tuned. So here's both pickups together, 
Voicing one, EQ center. Here's voicing two. <laughs> And voicing three. <laughs> Very nice. Now let's check out both pickups in single coil mode. Here's single coil mode with the EQ centered, voicing one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this thing is fun. This thing is a lot of fun. Now, here's voicing two. <laughs> Some spontaneous slap right there, and man, this thing slaps so good. All the different tones sound so good. I really love this. If this was the stock configuration in which this bass came, this would be a five claw bass, five out of five. These electronics in this bass are absolutely killer. Now, your single coil mode, both pickups, voicing number three. <laughs> Now let's go back to humbucker mode and play with this distortion a little bit. So I am going to be using a 
Electro Harmonics Big Muff. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> Voicing three, here's voicing one. So let's listen to this thing with some drums behind it. I'm actually going to have it in single coil mode, both pickups, treble boosted to about 50%, bass centered, voicing one. Here we go. So here are my final thoughts on the Sunfish. My Solar AB 2.4 BOP with the Fishman Fluence pickup and preamp set. This thing rocks. This thing is awesome. I am so glad I did this mod. I am so glad. This thing sounds so good and has way more flexibility than before. Not to say that the stock version of this bass is bad by any means, because it's not. It has exceptional build quality and it's just such a great playing instrument. However, the stock electronics weren't necessarily the best. At the price point, they are absolutely fine, don't get me wrong. However, making a premium version of this bass with the Fishman Fluence pickup and preamp set would be awesome. That would be the perfect metal bass. These things sound absolutely killer. Keep in mind, I am going to get a black switch, a black three-way toggle for the pickup voicings. I was just so excited to make this video, I had to do it with the stock one. This thing is too good, too good to be hidden under wraps. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think about the Sunfish. My Solar AB 2.4 BOP with the Fishman Fluence pickup and preamp set. And as always, till we rock again.